Ben Oliver, you are here today to be sentenced for the unlawful killing of your 74-year-old grandfather, David Oliver. You're watching legal and broadcasting history. From inside the Old Bailey, Judge Sarah Munro QC is carrying out the first ever televised sentencing from an English or Welsh court. Listening to his fate, but not on camera, 25-year-old Ben Oliver. He admitted the manslaughter of his grandfather, 74-year-old David Oliver. He was killed in Mottingham, South East London, in January last year. It is unfortunate that the professionals did not identify the risk posed by you remaining in the community. A major change in the law means we can now show law being administered. A new insight, taking you inside the country's most famous courtrooms. But there will be limits. For the first time, you will get to see the sentencing remarks made by judges in courts like this as they preside over some of the biggest cases. What you won't see, though, are the defendants, the jurors, the witnesses or the victims. Just those concluding words. But it is a huge moment. Since 1992, broadcasters have been able to apply for permission to film trials in Scottish courts. But it wasn't until the opening of the Supreme Court in 2009 that we started to see live proceedings. By 2013, we got to witness the workings of the Court of Appeal. Of course, it's all different in, say, the US, where sensational court cases like this have been shown for decades. John Battle, who does the legal checks on this programme before we go on air, has led the 20-year campaign for televised sentencings. It's definitely not going to be like O.J. Simpson. The judges won't let that happen. Uh, totally understandable. And you'll have seen today through the sentencing the uh, respectful and sombre way in which it was, uh, the sentencing was given and the filming will, and the reporting will reflect that as well. Ben Oliver was today sentenced to life with a minimum term of more than 10 years, a landmark day for transparency in which justice was seen to be done. That concludes these sentencing remarks and he may go down. Thank you. Julie Drucker, 5 News.